In this episode, you will learn how to start and cancel a task in Swift Concurrency. All right, here we are in this application that demonstrates a different set of sorting algorithms in Swift. We can select what is the algorithm we want to use and a different set of configuration like the animation duration, showing timer, showing different the values in the bars, etc. You have more information in the description below if you want to take a look to the code and run this app yourself. By the way, it's a multi-platform application. Okay, but the problem is that we want to start sorting. For example, I've selected an algorithm here, the merge sorting algorithm, and if I press sort, it's not doing anything. So let's fix that. Let me go to this code and let me show you that below we have a button. Where is the button? There you go. Yeah, we have a button start sorting that is empty. We need to add some code here to enable the sorting. For this change, I have the code already here and let me explain it to you. First, we are checking if we are in sorting mode. If that's the case, we're gonna disable the button. For example, here, if we are already pressing the button, that means this button is not clickable anymore. Now, we check this. If for some reason the e sorting is false, we set it to true. We start a timer that we wanna explore how to set a timer in another video, but it is here where we set it and we called this sorting algorithm.sort with the sorting type we selected previously. The only thing you need to know is that something is happening in the algorithm and you're gonna get a result in the screen. Since this is an asynchronous operation, we're gonna wait for this one. And once it's done, we're going to cancel the timer because the process is over and we are going to free up the button again. Now, the problem is that this function is not a synchronous function and we are calling a synchronous function here, which is not allowed. In order to fix that, I'm going to do this. I'm going to wrap this in a task, okay? And this will create an uninstructed task in the subconcurrency framework. In other words, it's just sending this to the asynchronous world and you're good to go. Unless for this quick example, that's what will enable the sorting process in with this asynchronous function. That's all you need. Now, let me run the application and see what happened. Okay, so let me click on one algorithm, merge, and let's click sort. And there you go. Well, the animation is pretty slow because by default is half a second for the duration, but I mean, it's working. Now, if I want to cancel it and change the settings, well, I can't because I don't have any way to stop this operation. So the only way is just killing the app. But that is not what we want. We want a button that start the algorithm, but also allow us to cancel the operation or stop the process in the middle. Okay, what can we do? One first step is already done, which is wrapping up everything in a task, okay? Because this piece of task is already containing what we want to execute asynchronously. And this piece of code needs a way to be manageable once it's executed. What we can do is just storing this task operation in a variable. Let me do that at the top. What I'm going to do is here creating a sorting task and I'm going to declare that this task is a task that is not returning anything and is not throwing an error. In this way, this sorting task will hold whatever this task we just call it before. So let me go back again to the bottom and instead of just calling the task right away, which is, is good, but if we want to manage it, once it's executed, we wanna assign this value to the variable sorting task equal to 
And there you go. Now, certain tasks will allow us to manage what is going on with the current task. We just load it in this variable. Now, how are we going to cancel this operation? Well, let's go here to cancel sorting because this is the code that manages that. And simply we will say sorting task dot cancel. And as you can see here, it is a method that indicates that the task should stop running. It's as simple as that. That's it. Oops. What's going on with this? There you go. Let me add additional things here, like saying that the sorting is false and also canceling the timer because, you know, the operation is over. That's it. Now let's try that in the app. Okay. Let me select insertion. And now let me change the duration of this animation. By the way, if you want to learn more about how to setting this screen with all this configuration, I have a video about macOS settings in the description below. Okay. Let me sort again. Yeah, the algorithm is different, but as you can see, it's working. And now let's say, oh, you know, I want to change the configuration now. Let me cancel it. There you go. It's working. And now it is also, you know, resetting what is the sort button here. And of course, we had another reset button to uh, go back to the previous state. Let me do that with the merge. Maybe it's quicker here. There we go. Yes, you can see all the elements in action now. But if I say, OK, I don't want to use that algorithm. Yeah, there you go. That's it. It's as simple as that. Now, what will happen if we are calling these multiple times or if the task is not running right now? Well, simply cancel will be ignored. So all the process of managing references, etc., is done automatically. Unless in this case, you don't have to worry about canceling or, uh, you know, checking if this task is still alive or not. It, it doesn't matter unless for the context of this particular case. And overall, Swift Concurrency is trying to make this process transparent to you. That's all I got. Would like to learn more about Swift Concurrency? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Pete and this is Ethan Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.